Well, Britain's Deputy Prime Minister says the UK will stop selling arms to Israel if legal advice determines the Netanyahu government is in breach of international law. Our Europe correspondent, Catherine Diss, filed this report from London. In the grand scheme of arms sales into Israel, Britain sends a tiny fraction of what it receives. Research shows that the US and Germany send around 99%, so any move by the UK government to halt sales would be more about sending a signal to the Israeli government that support is waning. Since that deadly attack on the aid workers in Gaza, which killed seven, including an Australian and three British citizens, the government here has come under increasing pressure to halt the sale of weapons into Israel. To put that into context, in 2022, the UK sold around $80 million worth of arms to Israel. The government here determined that the flow of those weapons could continue, but that it would remain under review. Uh, the government is still awaiting the latest legal advice and it is also under pressure to release that publicly. Last week, three former Supreme Court justices joined more than 600 others within Britain's legal community to call for a halt in sales, arguing that if the flow continued, it could make the UK complicit in genocide in Gaza. When questioned about this today, Deputy Prime Minister Oliver Dowden said that if the legal advice concluded that Israel was in contravention of international law, it would act. There's legal advice, the Foreign Secretary makes a judgment and he gives that advice to the Business Secretary. It, if it is the case that we can't lawfully, in accordance with the Act, do so, then of course we, we won't supply those arms. The Foreign Secretary, David Cameron, has also thrown his thoughts into the mix on this in a Sunday column. Uh, whilst the UK has been a staunch backer of Israel since Hamas's deadly attack on October 7, he said that support was not unconditional and that Britain expected Israel to abide by international law. If the UK was to suspend the flow of arms, it would join Japan, Canada, Spain and Belgium, who've also done it in the wake of Israel's brutal offensive in Gaza.